All right, so what are we going into next? Enhancement beliefs? You can pick uh, your enhancement. Oh, you belief. can pick any. The next one is any of the three types. So I would right, say right. you're. But would you go with enhancer group or some other belief? Like, what would be your second pick? I would say 75% of the time I'm picking enhancer belief. Uh, unless yeah, yeah. I'm not founding any cities. I, I like if I got if I did a, an insane ancient era where I have like five cities, I could see going founder belief. But in your average game where you're going to be expanding, enhancer is going to be where it's at. Uh, so, and I would say for the average player, enhancer is is going to be the best second okay. choice. So let's let's move to the enhancer um, right. group then. Uh, right. Because one of the top ones that I have is Holy Order. Because I always try to generate as much faith as possible. Yeah. Holy Order is just, and I use apostles a lot, whether, you know, to, to spread the religion to begin with. Yep. Um, I mean, it's situational, right? It's situational. If you, if you spawn next to like strong religious sieves, maybe you'll think twice about like, oh, okay, do I need Holy Order? Can I really spread it? Or am I playing a defensive religious game? Yeah. Right? If you're playing a defensive religious game, you probably go with something else. A holy order, 30% cheaper plus theocracy discounts, right? And yeah. Whatnot, it just makes it so good. And especially and, if you're like playing Molly, your your religious units are basically free then. Right. And and you know, spreading religion pays off yep. if further down the road you pick a, a you know, a population founder. based relig uh, exactly. religion. Exactly. The yeah. followers, right? You get culture for followers, you get science for followers, or even. You know, Which, like, like, let's just get it all the way. You're picking culture or science for followers on your founder belief. Uh, and, and everything we say after this is going to be based basically off that assumption. <laughs> because in the founder belief there's some other options and i like and i actually looking at them there there is a lot more variety than i expected but it's still world church our our cross cultural dialogue mm -hmm. are so strong mm -hmm. um but yeah, so when we're talking about enhance and stuff like you, like we're going to be working off the assumption that you're getting culture or science for your followers. Yeah. And Holy Order is like, for example, religious colonization, which is third one down the line there. Yeah. It's really handy, right? Because you get your cities, you get AI cities, actually. Yep. Uh, and religious colonization is the only enhancement belief that the AI gets if you spread it to them. If you spread your religion to uh, an AI early before they start settling, every city they settle after that we'll be following your belief um so that that is a unique feature of religious colonization is it works for it has to be majority right yeah. yeah i was gonna make a point that even religious colonization wouldn't be as valuable if you pick holy order and you are able to produce a lot of faith then you can just use your missionaries or apostles to spread correct religion justice you know what i mean so it's like a toss-up it depends this for me, it, it completely comes down to how much extra faith am I going to have? Yeah, Holy yeah, Order definitely yeah. has the highest top yeah. end. If we're talking just a general game, your top two choices are Holy Order and Religious Colonization by by a long shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. But Holy Order has the highest top end, but you have to use your faith to spread your religion. Um, Correct. If you have a lower faith output, Religious Colonization, is going to just outperform um, because it's instant. The second you settle a city, yeah. it's following you. Da, 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 da. If you have weaker holy sites, if you don't have like the faith output, um, religious colonization wins out. Or, or let's say you're doing a, a culture game where you got Oracle and you like like a Brazil game where all your faith is spoken for because yeah, you're, exactly. you're getting reduced exactly. great people cost. This is a yeah, this is an excellent point. Like Holy Order is going to require you to spend faith uh, where it can be spent elsewhere uh, in the cases Sogar mentioned. I mean, the, the, the next belief I have is the crusade. And yes. so the reason I stuck it in there, because for crusade, you still need to spread religion. Yeah, crusade, <laughs> like crusade like, is on, number three. I was under the influence of playing Basil's game, I think. Yeah. Like, and Basil is literally the only leader 
who could actually use it to its full potential. Because yeah. otherwise, you're going to have a hard time spreading the religion and to make the crusade work. And your uh, units, your religious units, are not cheaper because you can't pay holy water because it's Correct. so mutually exclusive. It's it's right? such a it's such a contradictory belief because mm -hmm. if you're going if you're going heavy faith you're not going to have science usually because you can only chew like you can only build so many districts early game. So if you're going heavy faith early, you're not going to have the science to go or early war. Um, now, granted, if if you're playing a longer game, the Crusade plus ten will pay off. You know, if you're at the same tech level, but like it's one of those things. Like it, it just doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. Like you said, if you're playing Basil or Theodora, it makes perfect sense because your religion is spread through combat. It works. If you have Vatican City where you can spread your religion through great people uh, and not spread it through uh, you know, actual faith investment, okay, mm -hmm. it's slightly more valuable. But when you have to have high faith output and also have the technological ability to go to war... Um, like that's so, and I guess the plus ten does make up if you are behind in tech. Yeah. But then you're yeah. just making up a weakness. You'd be you would have been better off going science. I mean, it's it, I feel like it was literally made for Basil. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was just the, gonna. This is actually my only problem with this enhancement belief. Your ranking for this is, I believe, yeah. Crusade and like missionary zeal should be the only two yellow ones. Um, uh -huh. And then everything else should just be awful because like, <laughs> all right. So scroll down. Let's talk about the next ones like mich missionary zeal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't even understand, you know, honestly, I think that's a complete crap uh, belief. I mean, what you, your units are scouts now. I mean, I don't You're, understand. Uh, this Here, is good. The thing. Even if you spread religion, so you need to buy those units. Why would you go with missionary zeal? If there is over holy order. order yeah yeah and that's why i say it's the only one that should be in the yellow with crusade because if you're playing like a mali or a russia where you do have the faith that holy order isn't necessary uh -huh. you can uh -huh. win your religious victory so much earlier okay um, okay like if you're going like a heavy faith uh if you're going a, a very heavy faith sieve you can ignore holy order and be fine and just being able to get across the map faster is better but I 100% agree. And that's why I say, like, I don't think Crusade or Missionary Zeal deserve to be in the green. Like, nine times out of ten, pick Holy Order and just travel slower. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. okay. And, and then Defender of the Faith, uh, why are you being attacked? Like, like, don't get attacked. Why are you picking a religious? Like, why it's are you like, being attacked yeah. so much that you're picking a religious belief? So Basically, you are within your own territory, yeah. right? Because what? It wouldn't be... I don't understand what the friendly cities are if you've been attacked. Meaning that if you convert your enemy, you're not getting that bonus from those cities, right? Correct. Uh, City-states. Uh, if you're cesarean of a city-state, yeah, or if, you're, sure. if your I mean, friends are alliances so, with somebody. Yeah, this is so weird to me, too. Like this, I, I, just, I feel this works good in multiplayer. I haven't played much multiplayer, mm, but I could see okay. going Defender of the Faith. Uh, if like you were behind like you, somebody on your team, and then it would pay off. Like I could yeah. see, like I could see this working well in like a multiplayer, but in single player, why are you being attacked? Like like that that's actually my question. Why like but see this these enhancers right? Like right, it's a good question. I I absolutely agree. But even to use this belief, you need you need your religion to spread. Yep, <laughs> and you can spread it because other beliefs in this group help that. Yep. So it's like it's 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 in the wrong group. Yeah. What you're what you're Same losing to pick that, and that and that's the problem with every single one of these other beliefs. What you are losing to take defender of the faith, uh, missionary zeal, are any of these options that aren't holy order, religious colonization. Uh, you're you're taking a pretty big hit. Uh, I and like I said, I can make the argument for missionary zeal and crusade, which is why I'd say they deserve to be yellow. I can't make the argument for anything else on this list. Uh, should we even talk about it? Uh, isolation. Uh, Your religious pressure never drops due to losses of theological combat. Yeah, we're talking like, single what? player here. How often are you in religious combat, and how often are you losing? If you're Listen, losing religious co religious combat in your territory, that like what are you doing 
move yeah, out to your city. Heal, heal your units. Yeah. Hide them in your, like, what, you know, how do you do that? I mean, you can accidentally lose a battle, maybe. You know, yeah. there are poli policy cards, right, that enhance the strength of your units. There are government, the theocracy enhances it. And you so, can move them into a city center at any time. And then city center. Yeah. Exactly. And then exactly. they can't be attacked. They can be attacked. Uh, they can heal, right? Like, heal them. Yeah. You don't need to. Anyway. Uh, holy holy water just increases yeah. your healing. Uh, once again, <sighs> how often are you healing religious what units? Is that? Like, yep. I mean, th these were made for some ridiculous religious wars. And I never see single, you know, um, game players actually do that. You always see AI fighting each other. Yeah. <laughs> like, you see these religious wars when you don't really play religious game. Um, but from our perspective, I. Yes. yes. And then scripture and iterant preachers, it's the same type of thing to me. It, it takes like too long. Passive, but it's a passive spread that you have no, how is it calculated? How does it work? Uh, you, and and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, you're converting population at the same speed that the other people are growing population. So hmm. you have to have more religious pressure to overcome their population growth. So huh. if you like on D, like on lower difficulties, this does better. On higher difficulties, yeah, like the AI gets a bonus. So their cities are going to grow faster than your religious pressure is going to convert their citizens. Like it, it yeah. just it doesn't. Like these would work in my style of games, where I'm just going to ignore my cities if they don't follow my religion. But once again, I'm better off picking Holy Order or religious colonization. Like, like it just it, it there's no sense in these abilities. They're just right so... unless you know unless everything on the top is taken. Let's yes. say because let's say if you're playing a huge game, right? Like huge map. It's yep. what seven religions? Yeah. So, very available. So we have what? One, two, three, six. We have nine beliefs, right? Correct. So you're going to have three beliefs to pick from if everything else is taken. Yeah. Right? So imagine the top six are taken. Yeah. Then it doesn't it doesn't really matter what's left at the bottom. Yeah. Because right? if, if my really options are Holy anything. Order, Scripture, and Preachers, I, I honestly don't care. Like, I just won't pick one then. I, I will treat that's that a, the exact... That's a good point. Yeah. You can go and pick a, a belief from a different group. Yeah. Like a I will treat group. it exactly like I treat the World Congress in my games. I'll just move the mouse and click, and whatever I click, that's what I got, I, I guess. Well, World Congress, actually, you know, it's funny, because sometimes sometimes they produce some fun fun stuff. Like oh, yeah. Like theological combat strength or culture bombs, you know, or trade routes and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. like that. It's fun. But let's go to founder first. Yeah, let's go to founder because I can't stress this enough. The worship belief should always be the last call. None of the buildings I, pay yeah. off enough to pick them early. Absolutely agreed. And the only reason I pick it, I, I rarely even build them. Um, yeah. The only reason I pick it is to fully upgrade my religion. To get the error score. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I usually never build the building. If they gave me error score for actually building the building as well, I would probably build the building more often, but the only <laughs> yeah. time I ever select yeah. one. Um, but when we get to one, there is a, actually yeah. a few situations yeah. where you yeah. can absolutely. do fun. There's always well. a situation. Yeah. Absolutely. So founder, yes. I highlighted World Church yep. on its own because it's the best. Independently, it's the best one from the group, right? Again, we're going back to culture. If I play 100 games, I'm picking that 90 of them minimum. I mean, yeah. there's a good chance that it's all 100. Absolutely. And then when it's not available, I go with cross-cultural dialogue. Yep. Now, and where, then, yeah. now, where this falls apart is you yeah. go pilgrimage and tithe. And I get why you did that. <laughs> but well, yeah, but I, sacred places uh, is, is I better. Agree. Um, I, agree. I mean, you're going back to wonders. I get yep. it. Um, and this is actually, this might be strong. Well, it's kind of funky, right? Like, are you betting on your own cities? They're yeah, largely, I'm betting 100% right? on my own cities. But yeah, lame, okay. lame ministry, sacred places, and stewardship all work directly uh, for your victory type. Uh, if you're going, uh, if you're going. Um, uh, science game, you're going to build campuses. Now it's only one science and it's not going to pay off a lot, but it's right. going to do more than uh, two, two faith is. Like, uh, faith is strong, and it's. I know it seems like sometimes I go over my own things, but 
faith is strong, but when you have to. But this is when you play. See, I have a religious um, victory um, badge there. Yeah. Because when you play and you spread your religion, you know, fast yeah. and quickly, it can snowball pretty, pretty quick. Um, I would still. Yeah. Yeah. I would still take lay ministry and world church, even in. Uh, even in a religion okay. game, because getting to yeah. theocracy is so much more important than yeah. plus two extra faith, uh, okay. and and this is and that's where I that's where pilgrimage and tithe. I, I get it, uh, and I get why like these rank really high for the average person. But mm -hmm. if you're looking at average player, excuse me, yeah, average player. Uh, but if you're looking how you actually win the game, like if you're looking at game winning yields, uh, getting culture or science is always better. Um, it yeah. just always is. What about papal primacy? Totally Everybody worthless. screams Georgia on top of their lungs. Right? <laughs> it's it's like like it, it converts a city state to religion, which does nothing. Um, because who you're cares, because right? you're like, not who? getting culture or science for your followers. So why do you care if they're following your religion? Um, like once again, you're like papal primacy. It seems like it's in the wrong category because it would work great. If you could take papal primacy and then also world church and cult cross cultural dialogue, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. spreading your religion yeah. without one of these modifiers doesn't do anything. Um, and it would work if it was like a religious burst, like if I had AOE splash where it affected the cities around it. But to my knowledge, it only affects the city state. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with the religious unity. Well, it's a little bit better, I guess. Not a little bit. It's, I think it's much better than papal primacy. Yeah. For sure, right? Um, yeah, it's it's an end uh, boy. Like, if, I'll, if, if the good options were chosen, let's say I'm getting absolute last religion, uh, I would take religious unity just because envoys are so important. Yeah. Uh, I would put religious unity below the culture and science ones just because it's an end boy. Yes, church. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be at the bottom with paper. Yeah, primacy. it's still going to be in the bottom half, but I would say that's the best one that doesn't provide a game when you yield. Okay. So would you throw pilgrimage and teeth into like a brown category? I, I just don't like them. I, I like. Tithe. Yeah, tithe. I, I think it is. Um, because it's Tip. for each city. It's for each city. It's not for every four followers. Right, right. So Big it's difference. very yeah. weak by comparison. You yeah. have to spread your religion so much to get so little. If it yeah, was, I mean, it, it, lay ministry is definitely it's it's definitely better than pilgrimage. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, in yeah, the sense of the, because yeah. you're getting one culture and one yeah. faith. So you're you're basically trading one faith for one culture. Yeah. And yeah. The, yeah. like this is the cat. Like, and it, it's so funny because I'm arguing about options that in a single player game you're never going to take. But I was looking at it <laughs> and I was just like, why why would you put these above this? This is just all right. like this is the category <laughs> that I honestly got mad at you. I was like, what were you thinking? I'm never choosing. <laughs> any of these but you you rank them wrong <laughs> it's like that meme why are you so stupid yeah yeah exactly all right all right so the last group then the worship stuff yeah uh, i would I mean, say i threw them in there just you know i would say you're about right you you really are mosque like, actually i would put mosque nah I no, they're they're about right. For me, are pretty close. They're, they're about right because the building you're never going to take it. The one thing I would say is cathedral is good if you're playing an Eleanor game, uh, nonviolent domination. Uh, cathedral is good because it gives you that extra art slot for the loyalty pressure. Um, uh, so that's really good. But the but it's a later in the game building too, right? Yeah, so it's but like but it's just that one extra slot in in yeah. a city because you're picking up cities from the AI, and mm -hmm. they might have holy sites that you could then put it in uh -huh. there. It's it's just sort of that game theory of like, okay, I'm gonna need to move great art around. Oh, I have a slot in the city I just got. Um, like it's a huge no. But if I'm playing Eleanor, I'm much more likely to grab Cathedral earlier than i would in a different game um but otherwise i think the most important thing when you're looking at this worship building is it's mosque is the only one you're picking to actually win the game uh if you're playing a religious game uh this makes a lot of sense 
um, because yeah, it, it's it, you're it's gonna yeah. honestly make you win. I mean, by the time you build those buildings, you should be doing pretty yeah. well with amenities. Maybe I don't know. I don't uh, know. No, because, I I, I think I find mosque as the most valuable here because yeah, I always it's like you you can always spread the religion, um, but I guess it depends because mosque is the best because it's. Prevents- it's- it's it's like a different version of holy order, because uh, right. it's making it your units you better. From spending more faith, right? exactly, because you get that extra spread. Um, but now the other two options, pagoda and is it stupa? I, I gotta be honest, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it stupa? Or how is it pronounced? Stupa, sure. Stupa. I don't uh, care. So <laughs> those two, you're picking these only because late game they actually do something. Nothing else here does anything late game. Like it's so minimal that. Well, you, are you saying meeting house is completely useless? It's two production. production. That's a mine. Like you're you're telling right? me that you're you going to... to exactly. You have to talk in those type of like. That's a great comparison. It's a freaking mine. Yeah, and we're spending literally you're, like, like and and the AI picks their worship building early. Okay, so Garduar, uh, three Gardoir. faith, two yeah. food, one housing. Uh, how how is it pronounced? That's, yeah, that's a fun one. It's it's I good. No Trust idea. me. If I'm Russia. Uh, and I'm in pure tundra. I, I like this one. Uh, the the food and housing. If I'm Russia and I have a pure tundra start, I might take this early because that will sort of help. But once again, that's only because Russia doesn't need anything else. Russia's amazing. So yeah, if I am like one of the best civs in the game, I can pick this worship building to make that best civ function better. Like, mm-hmm. but that is not mm-hmm. an argument to say this building's good. Um, yeah. It, it yeah. works out if you are an amazing sieve. Um, but you're getting two food, one housing. Okay, that's a farm. That's okay, a farm. So, so, you're, <laughs> yeah, that's a- so that's a farm. Uh, what? <laughs> two science. All right. Um, but it's, it's two science um, when you already have a shrine, a temple, and you've now built this building. Does two science matter at that point? That's that's less than the library yeah, um, because you're how, not yeah, getting how much, great science. By the time points. you get yeah, by the time you get to Watts, you probably already have universities available. Exactly. So it's, so it's two science when two science is like maybe one percent of your science. Uh, right. Like right, exactly. so, a meeting house. Like I said, it's a mine. Synagogue. Uh, five faith. You know, worship buildings should have been based on worship building should have been free or, or city population yeah right like the larger your population the more science what would produce yeah because you have more worshipers or something yeah like that. You know i what? i've i've said it before every single worship building with the exception of stupa and pagoda is as as a loss of yield because you're spending so much production to get so little if you build it and you're spending so much faith to get so little if you buy it so yeah. every single one of them is a is a lost investment like yeah it's it's roi it's opportunity cost you're spending your faith on yeah. this instead of saving it for a great person for example right yeah whatever else. Musk mosque is the one outlier because it provides you a unique ability of giving you more religious spreads which actively helps you win the game um so if you're trying to win the game unique abilities help pagoda selling diplomatic favor gets you a lot of money you'll actually make you'll you'll come out ahead stupa amenity it depends on how much that amenity is getting you. You can lose with it or you can win with it. What is an amenity worth to you? Every other one of them, you are losing. I mean, Dar, Dar er Mer is awful. Oh my God, it's so what terrible. What is that? What is, you know what I mean? Like, what is that? Well, I mean, unless, unless. I, I, it's a weak I, version I, of the synagogue because you have to get so many eras since it was constructed. So. What is like wait what does that mean though so so you constructed in like let's say medieval yep right so then you only get plus one faith for each one of these buildings correct and then next there so you have like five of them you get plus five you know this is just i mean but it's also for each era since constructed our last repaired so i've never picked this but my question is can you double it? Or is that saying if you don't have it repaired, you or. don't get the plus one fade? It says or. Either oh. or. 
Oh, so right. yeah. So if it's not repaired when the era changes, you don't get the plus one faith. It's so yeah. bad. <laughs> so incredible. I've never picked it. And every single time I've like when I used to actually like when I was learning uh, the game a lot more, I used to look at it a lot. And I'll be honest, I I cannot I cannot think of a situation where that's a good choice. I agree. I agree. So, like, you know, we went through these yep. pretty, but like, religion, religion overall is just useful for yeah. any type of victory, right? Well, yeah, because you can buy science your great and people. culture for sure. I'm not sure. I'm not so much. I mean, it still provides that, uh, you know. Well, bonus. because I, I'm pulling up your game screen here. All right, we're we're in the ancient era, so there's no modifiers. Are anything let's let's go into the great person screen for 750 faith we can buy your your first tier great people uh with the exception of the um artist and musicians and that's just because they're considered later era and the engineer because he's considered a later era too but, but for when you talk about faith it's different than talking about religion in a way yeah. right because you can generate shitload of faith without having religion. exactly but religion is good in all games, but like I, I think of faith and religion as one and the same because mm -hmm. if you're going faith, you're generating religion. If you're generating religion, you're generating faith. Um but yeah, no, like you don't like they're they're different. But religion does help in every victory. Uh with the there is the argument against a domination victory. Um uh because you have the negative three loyalty for following a different religion and you're never unless you're playing basil or theodora you're never going to be able to keep up to spreading your religion to the cities to not have that minus three loyalty uh modifier but if three loyalty is killing you um you need to figure out why three loyalty is is, is hampering you as much as it is you mm -hmm. you need to adjust your strategy um I would make the argument I don't take religion and domination games because I want to go to war as soon as possible. All right. Well, I mean, this was pretty easy. Yeah. Mostly painless. The problem with religion uh, as a whole is there's not a lot of options that make sense in any of the beliefs. Um, like I said, every single building is a, is a loss, like except for two. Um, so like... Why, why would you ever choose those? Uh, your enhancement belief, why are you ever choosing it? Like, there seems to be, like, two options that make sense, and then everything else, like, I've seen people make arguments, but I've never, like, understood it. Yeah, I've seen your games uh, multiple times where you just have two beliefs picked. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> you never. If I don't need the error score, I never, I never take the worship building. Yeah, because then you have to spend... Because you're losing apostles. the cost of the Apostle. And that's the sure. other thing you have to factor into the it's cost. It's three Apostles to yeah. to fully upgrade your religion. Two Apostles. Two or three? Two. Oh, Prophet and then two Apostles. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, but you have to factor in the cost of the Apostle. And that makes the religious buildings even weaker, in my opinion. Yeah. Because yeah. at bare minimum, they're costing you 400 faith just to get access. I honestly... If they were free, I like I would then debate them. Uh, like if you just got it for free, or like you said, if it was by population, like if you got the plus five faith for every citizen that follows that religion in a city, oh, then yeah, then it's worth it. But you need four hundred faith to get access to it, and then you need—I forget how much they cost to build. Let's say, let's say eight hundred faith to get your first one out the door. That—that's insane. 